With interest rates at record lows, many of you right now are out looking to buy your first home or possibly refinance what you already have. Purchasing a home is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make during your lifetime, and it is not a simple task. Our financial expert, Jennifer Hine, with the Wisconsin Bankers Association, is here today to help us all prepare and make the road from renter to owner uh, the least bumpy ride that it can possibly be. Right. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, it's good to see you. Yes. The, the rates we're seeing now, a lot of people are taking advantage of them. Absolutely. More more. Yeah. It's perfect time. Um, it's a time to look over your finances and make sure that they're all in line. So if you are looking to refinance or you are a first time home buyer to take advantage of these. No one knows how long they're gonna last. So it's time to, like I said, go over your finances. I was gonna say, there's a lot of inventory and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of opportunity. So you say first you need to create a housing budget. Know how much you're able to spend. And not just the price of the house, but also the extra expenses, um, the homeowners, homeowner's insurance, there's utilities, there's other things, cost involved in owning a home. So you need to make sure that you're able to cover those and you don't just get caught up in the nice homes that you go to visit. You know, you need Which to know how much you, right, you need to know how much you can afford. Okay. Review your credit. That's huge. You need to go to um, annualcreditreport.com and just check your credit report and just to make sure that there's nothing on there that's wrong. Um, because that'll affect your credit score. So your credit score, whatever that number is, reflects what kind of interest rate you'll be able to get. Okay, get pre-approved? Getting pre-approved, you need to understand what it means to get pre-approved. Pre-approved is when you actually talk to the lender, they've pulled your credit report, they know what your financial state is, and it shows to the realtor and also to the, the sellers that you're serious about buying a home. And shop around. Not only looking for homes, but you need to look at the other expenses involved with buying a home. Um, it's also you need to look at the expenses of comparing buying a home versus building a home and just weighing your options, which one you'll be able to save the most money. And then the last point you want to make is negotiate. Negotiating is key if you're able to. Sellers, if they're serious about selling their home, they may be willing to work with you when it comes to closing costs and other expenses involved. So talking to your banker, talking to the lender, just being able to negotiate on that price will save you money. Yeah, a lot of leeway, it seems there has been, especially in recent years. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jennifer Hine, last piece of advice? Just make sure that your credit score, you're checking your credit report to make sure that that's accurate because that's going to affect your credit score. Okay, Jennifer, thank you so much. Always good to see you. Happy house hunting out there for those of you that are in the market. Stay with us. Final check on traffic and weather next.